Smart people dare to be different. Okay. We're still talking to Mrs. Indum. I hope you know her. It's obvious. You know. <laughs> we bring mm. you just the best. Mm. Okay. Now tell me about your profession. Okay. Well, my profession uh, is more like uh, management, you know, development uh, consultant. Okay. I do a lot of training programs for the corporate, you know, uh, environment, like okay. uh, organizations. I've done training, lots of training for like Unilever, okay. Ghana Limited, um, Barclays Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, okay. Eco Bank, you know, Trust Bank, most of the banks, Merchant Bank. Yeah. Uh, uh, Deloitte and Tusha used to go co securities first national. I do training. Okay. You know, I develop training materials and then I present myself. You okay. know, uh, the program. You know, Guinness. You know, all, almost all the companies. You've the dealt companies. with all these big companies. Yeah. So that's what my profession is all about. I fell into hotel uh, management okay. by accident. I mean, it wasn't my intention that I was going to own hotels and manage hotels. Okay. But since we came to Ghana, we found so many opportunities, so many mm -hmm. opportunities in Ghana. But my husband and I, there are only two of us. Yes. And there's so much that we can do. Exactly. And every day we see opportunities. So we want to encourage people to just look around. You know, but you have to persevere and you have to be tenacious. And Did you, you hear that? Hold on to that and build, you know, build a company. So that's what we've done. And we like to surround ourselves with young people. Yeah. You know, we have very young staff, you know, and we have extremely loyal staff. Our management team is very young, yeah. very loyal. And uh, so it's, it's really great to work here. But the opportunities, I mean, sometimes I just can't believe it. It's like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. But then, you know, time, we only have 24 yeah. hours, no more. So we hope that other people will take on and be, you know, like entrepreneurs, look around and, and do things. My problem is that they are not ready to look around in the first place. They all want to go abroad. Well, And because, secondly, mm -hmm. fast money, quick money. Well, I think it's because people now are exposed to yeah. other, what other people have and they also want it and it, they've gone to school but then we don't have lots of businesses to absorb them you know yeah. that's why we have so many and, yeah, all of that. And, all, and, and it's also our mindset because yes. we still believe in this ancient you know the, i mean beliefs that you know you can do sakawa that somebody can make you rich without mm. working and you ha how? don't have to bath for right. one month yeah or three years i mean how come because if you look at history, if you've studied history, you will know that in the 12th century, in the 11th century, they also believed in those things. Yeah. In the 10th century, people used to kill chicken, you know, yeah. and use the blood for those things. Mm. But because of science, yeah. because of education, yeah. they've realized that you can't do much about it. Exactly. So how come with all our school system, we still believe in those things? Yeah. In the US, in the UK, in Europe, they believed that witches could fly yeah. on brooms. Yeah. But now they use it as Halloween. They make fun of it. Can you imagine they and they but crop here, their hair? Here we think that witches still are in trees, you know, and that you can go and break an egg mm. and somebody will die. I mean, you know, such stuff. But we believe those things. And that's what is really preventing us from, from moving, moving forward. forward. Where, whereas other places, they believe in research. They yeah. believe in science. Exactly. They believe that you can... Innovative they believe stuff. in themselves. Yes. They believe in creativity. Mm. They believe if you put your mind to it, yes. you can achieve it. But oh. here we think that you just have to go and see someone and, and someone will, and help you. will help you. Oh, I'm loving this woman. <laughs> You hit it mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Oh my god. So goodness. that's what we have. And then again we have also the banks. You know, the banks don't give people credit. Okay, so people They keep giving to the rich. Well, it's also because I mean there are so many things, you know, because the banks people take money and they don't pay. No, but okay. the problem is that if a new a, a fresher from school wants to start a business, right. you don't ask her or him to go and bring a collateral of a, a well, London property, go and bring that, that, that. Where is he going to get it from? That's, that's, then, then the government will have, because in other countries, it's the government 
who would set up those funds to help those, you know, new ones. But for private enterprise, they, they cannot risk it, okay, because they are taking somebody's money, money to do business. To do business. Yeah. Okay, but in the U.S., for instance, they set up small business, you know, and uh, venture, Units, you, yeah. I mean, you, in uh, business lending or lending yeah. or loans. And if they believe in what you have, they can give you uh, money. Like Sometimes the, it's even the, zero interest, okay. But we can't do it here. But the government can then, you know, come up with soft loans, which means where you pay interest, but not the high interest that we are paying here. So and that people who, entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, the, yeah, will have access to, to soft come. loans to start their businesses. But there are so many factors. The, that's, this one, is it my rock or something? You know, they give loans to women, but it's just a... Yeah, really How much can yeah. they give? Yeah. Well, For we you? do that too. Like we have a, a microfinance, you know, uh, uh, facility that we give to women, especially when we first started, we gave it to groups of women yeah. to trade and so yeah. most of them Messed defaulted, you know. So then it's like, well, you get smart because you are taking somebody's deposit. Yeah. You are paying interest on it, or you are also borrowing from to a bank lend, to lend. Yeah. And if, so if they don't pay, you then you, have, you are in trouble. Yes. But you see, it's not all about money. It's not all about money. There are certain projects yeah. you don't need money. money. I mean, lots of money. Oh, you yes. need some. Just but you, we should rely on friends. Yeah. We should form partnerships. Yes. We should use sweat equity. Yes. You know, you should sweat. You should be there and say, okay, I'm sacrificing. Maybe one month I won't get a salary. Two months I won't one get a salary. But I'm going to, you know, it. make it in the yeah. future. So you put in more time. You work hard. Well, and smart. That's okay, it. you work smart. You use, you know, more of, of your, your brains brain. and all of that. So that's what uh, we need to do. We need to believe in ourselves and also be you know, tenacious and, and to just have, you know, like a, a focus. focus. Yes. That's the word. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know. Today I'm using all my, my adjectives. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I'm glad we are thinking, you know, great minds think alike. You are yeah. smart. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. You know, when you yeah, talk to it. people, they go like, well, I don't have a degree. I'm not well, da da da, and that. I keep saying that the richest man on this planet doesn't have a degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? It's but, your but mindset, the person, but your like determination, you say, your determination, and the smartness. Though, yes, you know the smart. But you see, what we have here also hurts us. Okay, mm. and we have to really face it. We don't feed our children well. We don't develop their brains well. When they go to school, look at the people. Even the school feeding program, it's just huge carbohydrate and little protein. Yeah. And what is going to grow their mind, develop yeah. their brains? You know, but in other countries, like the government takes it upon him, itself to ensure that children in remote areas mm. are well, well fed. fed. I mean, nutritious meals, yeah. Yeah. not just meals to fill their stomach yeah. you know to make to get the hunger you know the away yeah so they go you know i mean they produce soya you know with uh, millet with mm. you know sogum fish powder you know, and fish, all of that. Oh, food with protein with yeah. calcium with yeah. all of that yeah. so that the child's brain would develop that's why now india did it look at india now you know exporting all this human you know like yeah. capacity <laughs> oh, mean, you England, go they're everywhere yeah, you go the to doctors, the U.S., the doctors, the, the engineers, the, the taxi drivers and everything you can think of. So, well educated. So but you are saying so, that yeah. that will help. Oh, that so will help. So the Banku and the Wache, oh the Kenke. Well, I mean, hey. they are good. They are good. But look, it's a Banku this big and then protein like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, vegetables, no. And we have a calcium in vegetables. It's not just in milk yeah. that we have. We have calcium in vegetables, in green leaves and all of that. So even if they are not drinking milk, they could be eating greens, vegetables, balanced diet. Balanced, yeah. balanced diet. Yeah. And that's what the government should really look, look in, yeah, into. That for in these fact, vote for me. When I come, your children will eat balanced food. <laughs> eh? Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, that's it. You know. In fact, vote for me. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'll come so, out soon. Don't yes. worry. <laughs> so that's what we need. We need that you know, focus yeah. on uh, making sure that our children are well-developed, you know, exactly. intellectually, 
then we will break away from this, you know, mentality, yeah, mindset, yeah, mindset, yeah, of mindset me not being going, me not be educated, so mm -hmm. I can't do that. I but can't you do see, that. some people do not go to school, but that doesn't mean they are stupid. You yes, know? That's what I'm saying. You may not have gone to school, but you have your native intelligence. So you can you use know, it. So you can use it. But if you're if you do not develop your brains, you will not have that native intelligence either. How do they get that fear out of them? Because they feel intimidated. They, you know, they have this low self-esteem. Well, it can all because be taught. If you attend, if you go anywhere at where, if you, um, my frame of reference is in the U.S. because I go there yeah. a lot. Yeah. You go there, you turn on the TV. Mm -hmm. They are educated. I mean, there is education. Educating programs. people, programs, yes. you know, about health, here it's all about, about politics. food, about how you can, you know, uh, develop your brain, how yes. you can develop your body, how on talk shows. I mean, constantly. Shed, to yes, get some fat yes, off yes, your body. Yes, yes, constantly. Yeah. But here you're right. You know, politics. The whole day from Attacking 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Party A, party B, and nothing moves. Exactly. And we are stuck. Exactly. Another party but, comes, well, we the same story. It. You know, we listen ah. to it. So, I mean, it's like... We deserve what we have. I mean, we listen to it, so there's a market for it, you know. It's so it will be there. I it's mean, terrible. they are trying. I think they are trying. They just have to, you know, do a bit more yeah. to educate. Yeah. But once we start educating, then people's mindset will, will change. change. Okay. But if we don't, and, and other people, they just didn't develop. And they believe in evolution. We don't. Yeah. We don't believe. We believe Strictly in tradition. Mm. This That's is the it. way we did it. And yes. this is the way we'll continue to do it forever and ever. But we need to change. Always make the change. Smart people, dare to be different.